Hello, my delicious co-creators, Lilu here in beautiful Paris with, I don't know if you're going to realize, but I, do, do people really know you? They know your movie in the US. Do they actually know you? Do, have you physically toured and do they know which movie <laughs> they loved at? I mean, <laughs> I wish I had toured in the States, which is a country that I really love. No, uh, my movie is LOL with Demi Moore and Miley Cyrus. So I know it's been really popular on Netflix and on, on the internet and And yeah, she's the one that just made it and she's awesome and she's French and we just did the interview in French and I thought, oh my God, I have to do this in English. This is great. This is her. She made that movie. Yeah. I you're did. inspiring. And and I know you're inspiring. We just done this video. As soon as I saw you, you know, some days ago, I just knew there was something there that wanted to be expressed. Tell us in English, you know, how did you get to, to create that movie? How did you get to, to, to have this philosophy of life that you have? But first, let's start with a little bit of a summary on how do you view this life? What is this for you? Because they... they life. Because oh. I know you saw Carolyn Mace. I mean, you saw my interview with her. I know what kind of topic you're interested about too. And you've been able to successfully put some movies together. And uh, so there, it started really with this, uh, this, this seed, maybe something that you've, that you've experienced at a young age mm -hmm. that, wanted to be, that wanted to express itself. Huh? Well, uh, I think that we really uh, kind of choose our parents... And I didn't have a great parent experience when I was very young because I was in a boarding school from age zero to age eight, which is a lot of time. Now that I have kids, I realize when I was little, I thought it was normal not to see, you know, one, one parent. And w what is really funny is that I realized that when I was in the States, because in the States, people don't ask you where you're born. They ask you, where are you born and raised? So I knew where I was born because it's on a paper. And then they said, where were you raised? And I couldn't answer. Wow. I had no answer to that question. And it's when they asked me about the raising thing that I realized that I wasn't raised. I auto-raised. I whatever. I, I, I can't say because I didn't have any parent. I didn't have any child. You have a mother, this very, very famous actress yeah. and singer in France. Huh? Uh, I had a mother... Uh, well, I, I still have a mother here in, in, in France and, and a father and they are beautiful parents and I love them and everything. But it, it, it occurs that I didn't have a room. If I think of a child room I would have, it begins at age nine. So it's kind of weird because, you know, where is my childhood? It's, it's in a place where people were not nice to me, where, you know, they would beat me up, where they would not explain what I, why I, I didn't have any parent. My parents were not really visiting me when they were, they were giving me gifts. The gifts were, 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 were take, taken back from me. Mm -hmm. They say, this is for the other kids. You don't deserve those, those things, you know. So I was like, okay, I'm just shit. And that was it. And I was, you know, I thought that was it. But I had the chance to have a little brother that I was protecting all the time. Mm -hmm. So I, I always had that mother feeling towards others mm -hmm. because I couldn't do it for myself, of course, but I had someone to protect. So my protection gift made it happen, I think. For, for the, the, the hard part is to give it to yourself, yeah. actually. But how did you... So How did you, how did you, what is the link here? Because the movie clearly you express a lot that nourishes people. Yes. And now from what I heard just previously, you know, your understanding of life is really vast and there is a profoundness and, and roots. So how did you get from there to where you're now? What are some of the milestones or some yes. things that really you, it, it, the shift was created? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think it's two things. The first thing is, you know, my life, because I was so lonely that I, I really know what loneliness means. And I deep inside, I was like, I, I don't want people to feel as lonely as I, as I felt. Yeah. So I wanted to do something for them so that they don't feel lonely, especially at, at the age when you're a teenager, when you can't speak to your parent anymore. Well, I never did, but anyway... And uh, so that's, this is why my, one of my first movies was for, for kids, you know, for, for uh, not kids, because teenagers are not kids. They're really in between two states because being a kid is cool. Being an adult could be cool, but being in between, you don't know. Suddenly you have boobs, suddenly you're, you're, you have sexuality 
arising somewhere you don't know how to do it you don't know how to deal with the fact that being an adult is not cool and not being a kid you don't want to be a kid anymore so that strange place I wanted to talk about that's the first thing the second thing that I think is a milestone for me is religion because my my mother is a uh, Catholic my father's Jewish so I know extremely well both religions mm -hmm. Then I didn't really wanted to get into there, so I became a Buddhist. So I, I was a Buddhist for 12 years. Then I stopped being a Buddhist and I related to Jesus, but in a form that, you know, the, 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 the Christian church couldn't do anything for me because I don't really like their message. Suddenly I realized that the real religion was something about love, you know, but it took me time. Mm. And so now I'm more into the the loving business, yeah, yeah, yeah. whatever whatever it means. You know, I I, I think the real, I mean, yeah, the quantum supreme, physics, yeah, you're interested. Yeah. The quantum physics, the supreme energy, the supreme force is love. Any, any, anywhere, I, I, I read this book about only two things lead the world. One side is fear, the other side is love. The opposite of love is not hate, it's fear. And, you know, I'm trying to be on the love side sometimes, Lot, really, I can I can really be also on the fear side, but I, I'm, you know, the the cool thing is that now I'm like, okay, I'm just being afraid. I'm just being in the fear zone. Yeah. Let's try to see how I could get from this fear place to the, it's not the fireplace, it's the fear place. It's a <laughs> little weird, but from fear to love, what do I have to do? Yeah. Well, that's, yeah, that's yeah. the, the, Accepting yourself, giving yourself that love, I guess, also that you didn't feel you received from your parents. Were you able to, to give that? Did you felt that, that switch too at some point? You well, said enough, this is enough, now I'm going to go there. Well, I had the chance to, to meet a lot of uh, bad relationships, you know. <laughs> so I, through all those really bad relationships that I had, Um, with men, I realized each time one new step to to get closer to me. Yeah. Because each time I was going out with someone, I was going very far away from my heart, mm -hmm. from my, my deep heart. Because I was giving my heart to him. Mm -hmm. So I had no heart for myself anymore. And at the end, the last one, I was really, you know, dropped on the floor like, you know, like, a, like water. I was like mm -hmm. just water crying on the floor. And I was so in bad shape that I realized I couldn't go any deeper. That's the cool, the cool thing. And suddenly I, I, I got, you know, like kind of reborn, like a rebirth thing. Yeah. It's, you know, yeah, uh, out of ashes. I don't know if you say that. Uh, yeah, like the phoenix rises. Like the phoenix, really. <laughs> like, like the phoenix. And <laughs> <laughs> like the Daft Punk song. Yes. <laughs> but it's exactly what happened it's exactly what happened and and suddenly I realized that it's not so because I was always trying to give myself some love like there is some clue to you know that you have to give yourself love no first thing is to stop being bad to yourself well I didn't know that it's so stupid that I didn't know that yeah. it took me like 50 years to understand that yeah and that's a huge shift just right there yeah It is. It's, you know, just not forcing yourself to not eat something that's bad. It's just you don't want to eat something bad for you. You don't want to do something bad for you. You just don't want to because you're too tired to go there. Yeah. And I was so tired of myself that I dropped myself. And that's the good... I mean, I'm so thankful to all those bad relationships, to all those bad experiences. Mm -hmm. No, but really, because without them, I wouldn't be here today. I wouldn't be happy. I wouldn't feel free. I wouldn't, you know... Yeah. So and maybe from that point too, that's when you started to let go and just let things happen and come to you. Because I think a lot of us just are get obsessed after reaching a goal or an objective, but really you seem to attract it now and it comes to you, right? Exactly. But I was also lucky to, I, I'm a fighter. I've always fighted everything, every religion, every parent, every, every society that I could fight because it wasn't, you know, fair. I was a fighter. So I've, I've always been, and I think I, I will always be a fighter. But, uh, you know, at the end, you get a little bit tired of fighting. With, that happened to me. And I, I, like five years ago, I had accomplished all my dreams. 
And I was like, wow, that's so great. I did all my dreams. And the last dream was doing a movie in, 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 in Hollywood, you know. That was my dream to do a movie with Demi Moore. And I had the chance to do it also with Miley Cyrus. And I did my own remake. No French director did, did this, you know. I did my own remake in less than a year. All the things went, you know. So it's quite amazing. That was really my dream to go mm -hmm. to LA and to live there, which I did, and to go to Hollywood and to live my dream. But at the end of the day, when you have done all your dreams, you should be very, very happy, which I was not. So I suddenly realized that accomplishing one's dream is not the goal. Mm -hmm. So when you start from there, you're a little bit, you know, like, what's wrong? What's, what, where did I go wrong? And the thing is that wanting too much is, is something that you can't do for the rest of your life. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you just have to stop wanting yeah. and just go with the flow. That's, I mean, that's a, an, an American expression, but it's amazing. We yeah. don't have it in French. Yeah, but it seems like at some point it switches from seeing the universe or life as uh, is going to be bad with me or that wants yeah. something that is unfair to... I can chill. Like, I can really relax, still yeah. being in action, follow my intuition, but not push on things because it's okay. The universe has my back kind of thing. Yeah, you just have... So, someone told me that, you know, the, the, the way that you feel that the earth supports you, um, the more you feel you're supporting by the earth, the more chill you can be. And the more chill you are, the more happy you are. It's just that I had the feeling that I had to do something to stand on my two feet, you know. You don't have to do nothing. You're already there. Thank you. That's, that's you're the sperm. We said, yeah. we talked about that yeah. in the French one. You're like, you made it. You made it. You, I mean, what do you need else as proof that you're, you know... You, you were chosen. You, yeah. There's a sperm and, how do you say, ovule... Uh, you guys, you know. The egg. The, the, egg. Sper the sperm and the egg, you know, they, they met yeah. for you. you. They became you. That, that became you. So that's, that's, I mean, the odds are just, you know, far, fr fr really uh, close to zero that, that such a thing happens. It did happen. It's a miracle. It's, it's a fucking miracle that I'm here, you know? So, it's and, a great movie title, too. <laughs> no, but it's so true, you know? All you have to do is realize it. Yeah. That's, I mean, when they talk about Buddha and all this and, and being, you know, re, the big uh, levee. How, how do Enlightenment. You Enlightenment is just realizing that you're, here, mm -hmm. that you're here. And that's a, a miracle. Yeah. Just, you know, contact the, own, the, the only miracle that you're here. That's that's illumination, I think. Yeah. Yeah. So your other movie is going to be because your, your your movies are profound. They're each sometimes each time you 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 find this, huh? Yeah. What was it in 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 Lol? Well, in LOL, it was the link between a mother and a child, especially at an age where the child wants to go away from the mother, which is you know being a teenager. It's really the time where. That's why the, the, the movie begins, you know, they take a bath together, especially in the French version. In the American, she couldn't go in the bath with her mother. But anyway, that's the Puritan aspect of, of America. Yeah, you had to change. I had to change that. That's one of the little, you know, concession that I did. She was taking a shower on the, on the other side of the bathroom. Anyway, they talk to each other and, and she, she, she's looking at her daughter and she says, but how did you, did you wax? Did you touch your, your body? You know, did, and she's like, hello, it's my body. I do whatever I want with my body. And suddenly the mother realized that the body of her daughter is not her body anymore. It's not, it's not, you know, so what is the link between, you know, people on the same family when this body link where you know baby thing the thing that that was my little thing my little baby uh, it's not anymore but you're you're gonna still love love her or him mm. you know so what's this link mm. i'm always very interested in what's making links uh between people mm. that's that's my i mean if i'm doing movies is to link people mm -hmm. together mm -hmm. in a theater or together with me or together with what i think of or together when they watch a movie you know, that they can talk about or feel or, you know, yeah. it's just a linking thing. It's, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I'm a linker. Yeah. <laughs> and real, making us realize that we are already connected. Yeah, we are. We are. Yeah, we are. So it's, a, it's, a, it's a decision, right? 
Mm, no, it's it's a uh, it's something that you see it maybe it's a decision. Yeah. To, it's yeah. something that you feel. It's I mean when you're in love you feel connected right. Mm -hmm. Well, we should be in love all the time with everyone. Mm -hmm. I know it's a little bit you know. Uh, not in a sexual way. No, but it's. Well, why not? You know, I loved... No, but I loved, you know, the flower power. She's single, I think. <laughs> yes, I am. No, I'm not that single. Uh, but, uh, but uh, you know, I, I, I think that, you know, Yoko Ono and, and John Lennon, they tried to do it. They tried to show it. There were, I mean, can you believe two big stars like that? I mean, especially one big star... Uh, Showing something, uh, a man and a woman in a bed, having interviewed and saying, okay, except love, there's nothing. Honestly, I didn't hear anything better until, from since that then, yeah. since then. Yeah, yeah. yeah, honestly. It's the best thing you can do to, to, to earth is to show, do, and prove love. Let's... I think that's a beautiful place to leave this interview with. Thank you so much for taking the time to do it in English too. Last little word of wisdom or last little thing you want to say to them? Um, Since this is very international. I mean, this is cool with, with the YouTube thing, you know? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm very... Uh, I love... I love... The, because, you know, internet is the link. Let's try to make it work for love and not for hate yeah. because right now it's a little bit... You know, it can go on one side or the other. Yeah. And I think the, 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 the love side could win. We just have to make it happen every day in our own heart. That's, yeah. that's the only thing to do. Yeah. I choose love. Yeah. Thank you so much. Choose love, my delicious co-creators, and you much love for beautiful Paris. Bye-bye. Love you. Yeah. <laughs>